Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Ageless Learning. So today after a long gap, I am back with my vocabulary series called as Vocab Shorts Part Number 9. But before proceeding, I would like you all to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. So let's have a look at today's words. Today's words are efficacy, puerile and a but. The first word is efficacy. Efficacy is a noun which means capacity for producing a desired result or effect. The effectiveness. Okay. Agar if we talk in medical terms, kaun si dawa ki kitni effectiveness hai, usko bolte hai efficacy. Ya fir kisi bhi cheez ki effectiveness ko measure jo karte hai, jo effectiveness hai, usko hum bolte hai ki uski efficacy kitni hai. The usage is Fortunately, the medicine had the efficacy to reduce the amount of pain I was feeling. Okay, the medicine had the efficacy. Usme utni effectiveness thi to reduce the amount of pain I was feeling. The other example is, the instructor's efficacy was reduced by the lack of educational materials. For example, these days all the classes are going online. So, Sara jitna bhi educational material hai, it is not feasible to show everything on video modes. So, for that he is saying the instructor's efficacy, jo effectiveness thi padhane ki, the way with, he, with which wo padha sakta tha, wo reduce ho gai, effectiveness reduce ho gai. The synonym is potency, okay? Potency is the synonym for if efficacy. The next word is puerile. Now the puerile is an adjective which means childlike, immature, okay? So when we are making, uh, when we are making childlike excuses, so that is known as puerile excuses. Stop making such puerile excuses. I find his sense of humor rather puerile means, I find his sense of humor childlike which is not that much effective the key to remember is dil to puerile hai ji moving on to the last word of day is a but a but is a verb which means to be adjacent. Jude hue jo hote hain, unko bolte hain adjacent a but. Touch or join at the edge or border. Okay. So here we have uh, the usage. Our school abuts on a hospital means they are just adjacent. Or if your legs are tired, feel free to abut any nearby wall to gain some support for your legs and your back. Agar aapko, aapki legs thak gai hai khade rehne ki wajah se, to you can abut any nearby wall. Aap uske saath adjacent khade ho sakte hai wall, wall ke, so that your legs get, legs get support. The key to remember is, hum saath, saath hai. Hum, abut, abut hai. Okay? Jo saath saath hota hai, adjacent hota hai, that is known as a but. The key to remember is, hum saath saath hai. Hum saath saath hai. Janmo ke saath hai. Hum saath saath hai. Which means, hum a but a but hai. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you people are practicing these words and using them in your daily conversation. Keep on practicing. Happy learning. Bye-bye. Take care.